enough small talk. Let's get right to it tonight with the Mask Fan Attic, where we talk about interesting old Halloween masks. Now, tonight's mask from up here in the nasty, filthy, disgusting, and extremely dangerous attic is this guy called simply Old Man. Now, the Old Man uh, doesn't doesn't uh, probably thrill a lot of uh, the modern day collectors too much because it just looks like an ordinary old man mask and that's all it was ever meant to be. It was made by César, a French company who made, uh, well, millions of, of wonderful masks over a period of many years before they finally uh, closed their doors sometime during the uh ohs But the old man here was sometimes known as Dirty Old Man, which is what uh, some novelty catalogs would call it, like, uh, you know, uh, Johnson Smith or Circus Fun Shop. Now, Circus Fun Shop has been gone forever, but uh, Johnson Smith is still in business, but today they call themselves uh, Things You Never Knew Existed, I believe is the name of it. But anyway, uh, now they mostly just have really stupid uh, gross-out humor for morons. But there was a time in the 1970s uh, they had a lot of uh, other kinds of very cool stuff. But the old man from Cesar, or Dirty Old Man, is very realistic when you put it on. This was in production during the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, and was still in production as of the year 2000. So it's very, very popular, very common, and uh, there were just tons of them all over the place. It was a, it's, it's a classic novelty item. It's a mask that's almost like, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, stick of gum that snaps on your finger like a mouse trap or something. It's, it's like a classic joke sort of item, you know? And as far as uh, horror movie use, well, if you're one of those guys who collects masks worn by slashers and killers in movies, you need one of these because it was used in Slaughter High, a terrible film from 1986 that was supposed to be set in America but was very obviously uh, made by British people in England who were trying to do uh, American accents and most of them not too good at it. Uh, the best thing in it was Carolyn Monroe, because she's always pretty great, but other than her, not much to recommend. It's, it's one of those slasher movies of the 80s where you don't know uh, what the deal is as far as the level of supernatural that might be happening, and it's constructed like a mystery, like you're not supposed to know who the killer is even though it couldn't be more obvious, and it's all about the killer. For some reason, he wears a mask anyway. I guess he was a fan of Michael Myers, maybe, so he wore a mask. But um, it's, it's a movie that ends with one of those only in the 80s endings that's like, oh, look, the whole thing was a dream, or wait, no, it wasn't, or maybe it was. Oh, look, he's pulling his makeup off on the camera in slow motion. What? Why? I don't know. Terrible movie. But the killer does wear this, and he usually wears a jester's hat with it, you know, with the... Uh, uh, the peaks with the bells on the ends, yeah. Now, uh, if you want the old man mask for your uh, slasher collection, you should know that it is still being made, even though Cesar is not around anymore, it's still being made by Disguise Incorporated. In 2007, they took over the manufacturing of the old man. And, well, I don't know if you can tell this on your uh, monitor of choice, but they're very nearly identical. Uh, almost every crack and wrinkle and curve and everything is in just the same place. So it's very difficult to tell them apart. Uh, if you look at them in profile, the newer version has a slightly shorter nose, slightly flatter to the face. I don't know if you can tell that. But uh, that's one way you can tell them apart. And the other way you can tell them apart, uh, the disguise one is slightly larger, by the way, but you'd have to have an older one to compare it to. The disguise one has... Copyright 2007 Disguise, made in China, written across right there. So if you want one that's more accurate to the one worn by the killer in Slaughter High, you could uh, get yourself a pair of scissors and trim off about a half inch right there under the chin. Anyway, uh, this version is still pretty great. It's a little, uh, a little different type of vinyl, but it's sort of hard to describe. If, if, I, if I'm holding one in my hands, I could tell you whether it's a Cesar or a Disguise but they're very similar. Uh, one way that uh, might help you to differentiate the old ones from the new ones is that the older ones had a little bit curlier hair. The hair is a little bit kinkier and, and, and uh, well, curlier. And the new ones, it's more, uh, um, 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 there's gotta be a better word than straighter. Well, find a synonym for straighter hair. 
uh, it's, it's more just wavy and not so much curly, particularly the eyebrows. And another thing is, Cesar's tended to have the eye holes trimmed out just a little bigger, but of course, none of this is, uh, is uh, completely, uh, completely uh, the same in all cases because there were so many bazillion copies of this mask made over the years, things are going to vary, like the exact uh, paint uh, work and the exact uh, placement of, of how the hair hangs and that kind of thing. It's going to change a little bit and you know some were more pink and some were more tan and some were more orangey but very close very similar this one looks just a bit on the purple side but it's not really purple it's really just a, it's 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 uh, pinkish flesh maybe maybe he's got a slight sunburn here and there but it's pale but it, well anyway slight difference Still a cool mask, and if you're into slasher masks, you should probably have one. If you trim the eyes out of one of the uh, disguised ones slightly bigger, as you can see, it'll make it look a little bit more like the old one from the 70s and 80s and used in Slaughter High. Or just get one of these, because it's a cool mask. It's fun for any Halloween event, and it's a, kind of a classic mask, even though it's not uh, a famous uh, specific likeness of a specific famous person. It's a fun mask. So get yourself an old man or dirty old man from Cesar if you can find one. No longer in production or the still in production as of this videotaping of uh, the version from Disguise. Thank you. And hey, you, re you remember the Tombs of the Blind Dead? I just realized I'm, I'm in the Tomb of the Dead Blinds. You get it? I I didn't get it either.